Hello YouTube, this is Jay here and today I'll be doing some water parameter tests on my tanks and today I will be testing the nitrate levels. Some people have been curious as to what my nitrate readings actually are so I'll be showing those off. Um, for the test I'll be using the Tetra test kits. These basically utilize a couple of different sol uh, solutions and they give you a color rating to as to the nitrate levels. So basically you take some tank water and you get it into this container. You add 14 drops of this, solution 1, and then 7 drops of this, solution 2. Then you add a tiny bit of this um, powder. And then you finally wrap it up with 7 drops of solution 3. And you shake it and then you get a color. So basically dark red means bad and yellow means good. So I will be testing all of my tanks. Okay, so first up is my no water change nano planted tank. I'll be getting a little bit of water there. Okay, so here is the tank water. First thing I gotta do is add 14 drops of solution number one. And then we add seven drops of solution number two. And then we add a small amount of this powder here. And the kit comes with a tiny little spoon for that. So I'm just going to scoop some up. And add it in. Oops, didn't get any there. Spoon so tiny. Okay, there we go. And then because it is a powder, you shut the lid, and give it a bit of a shake so the powder mixes in properly. And finally, I'm going to add seven drops of this to get me a color. Okay, you can kind of already see that it has changed color there. I'm going to give it a little bit of a shake. And basically you just wait for like 10, uh, the kit says 10 minutes, but I've never seen the color change beyond like 1 or 2 minutes. Like after 1 or 2 minutes the reaction is pretty much done and I don't see it change anymore. But I'll give it 10 minutes, I'll do what the kit says. So yeah. We'll be back in 10 minutes to see if the color has changed. Okay, so it has been about 10 minutes and the reaction is done. And basically you set it up there and you see where the tank is at. And you can see it is right about zero there. Yep, so my nano planted tank has practically no nitrates in it, which is good. Moving on. Okay, next up is my 12 gallon planted aquarium. I'll be getting a little bit of water here. So basically, I'll be doing the exact same thing here. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and the reaction is complete. Let's look at the color and the 12 gallon is also right about zero there it's pretty yellow so that's good so my 12 gallon planet tag also has almost no nitrates moving on okay so next up is my turtle tank be taking a little bit of water there okay same thing again Okay, so it's been 10 minutes, let's give it a read, and it is slightly darker, I'd say it's in the 12.5, um, yep, 12.5 range, not quite at zero, that may be because I gave it a bit of a heavy feeding today, 
I find that um, my planted tanks are consistently like at zero most of the time, but my turtle tank kind of fluctuates in this range. And I guess since today was a bit of a heavy feeding day, I am at the higher end, which is about 12.5. It's still good. That's still good. So yeah, that would be all the nitrate levels of my three tanks. Next, I'll be testing the TDS. Okay, so another parameter that I test on a regular basis is TDS, and um, basically TDS means total dissolved solids, and you measure it with a meter like this. So I think these things work by um, measuring the conductivity of the water, and basically what TDS is everything else besides water, like it tells you how much other stuff there is in the water. So it doesn't mean that a low TDS water is necessarily better. It just means or that a high TDS water is dirty. It just tells you um, how much stuff other than water is in the water. So basically a low TDS means the water is really pure. There's nothing other than just basic water in the water. And a high TDS means there are um, a bunch of other either solids or dissolved stuff that is in the water. So a lot of people use TDS differently. I just use it to see if there's something like totally off with the water. Like depending on how you set up your tank, your TDS can vary very widely as I will be demonstrating. Like some of my tanks have really high TDS values, but like as you see, like the nitrates are near zero and the water is really clean and the fish do fine. So yeah, I just use TDS as a means to um, see the constancy of the water, whether there's something like really off that I should be concerned about. So yeah, I'll just be doing a quick TDS check on all of my tanks. Okay, so first up is my planted tank. And this guy usually comes up pretty high. So yep, I can focus there. That is about uh, 500, 499, 500-ish. So that is really high TDS. And I find that this tank consist consistently has about 500 in terms of TDS. And I believe that is because it's a no filter tank, so hence there are a lot more um, dissolved solids. The solids that don't get filtered out by a filter, those just stay floating in the water. That isn't really visible that much, but the TDS meter picks it up. So um, that is about right for this tank. This tank consistently measures about 500, so there's nothing to worry about. That's what this tank is. So yeah, TDS doesn't tell you how clean the water is. I just use it as a means to check if something is totally off. Like if one day I check my TDS and it's like a thousand, I will like um, look into the tank to see what's going on. Otherwise, um, it's fine. And this is what I think TDS is good for because you can just, as you saw, you can use a fairly cheap meter like this. This thing only costs like 10 to 20 bucks. I don't remember exactly, but, and you get an immediate reading. So it's good to like do some quick routine checks to see if anything is like going crazy. So yeah, that's what I use it for. Next, I'll be testing my 12 gallon tank. Okay, so this is my 12 gallon planted tank. I don't know if you can see there due to the lights, but it is reading about 221. That is a bit higher than usual. I think it's because, as you can see, I have been um, doing some trimming and pulling out some plants. So that has kicked up a bit of dirt. So yeah, that's why I think it's a bit higher than usual. Usually it's about 100 to 150. So yeah, that's what my planted tank is at. Next up is my turtle tank. The reading there is about 216, 217. So that is right on range. This tank usually comes around 200, vast majority of time. So yeah, the tank is doing well. There is nothing um, irregular about it. So that would be the TDS tests of my tanks. Alright, thanks for watching guys. That was all the water parameter tests of my tanks. If you want to see me do something else, just let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.